what if Kawasaki returned to MotoGP? Now, it's something we'll probably not see for, I don't know, maybe the next decade, but we can speculate and have a hypothetical situation for this. As we know, Suzuki are leaving MotoGP at the end of this season, so that frees up a space for another team. So we're going to look at it if Kawasaki returned to MotoGP, who'd be their riders, what the bike would look like, and how it would go for them. So before we get into that, let's take a look at Kawasaki previously in MotoGP. So if you didn't know, Kawasaki were MotoGP from 2002 to 2009. Well, 2009 was unofficially Kawasaki as they were the Hayate team after they pulled out after the global financial crisis at the end of 2008. But having contracted Marco Melandri for 2009 and an agreement with Dorna, they were able to run the 2008 bike with a basically a blacked out livery. And the bike wasn't too bad. It actually scored Kawasaki's best result of second, which they achieved three times on separate occasions. Never got the MotoGP win. So if Kawasaki ever came back to Grand Prix racing, they would be still looking for that first win. But all the way back in 2002, it made its debut at Mategi at the Pacific Grand Prix, and it was rode by Akira Yanagawa, and yeah, it was a lovely looking machine, it was different, and the unique feature of a Kawasaki during its time in MotoGP, it had the best sounding engine in my opinion, and if you want to hear it, just google Kawasaki MotoGP engine, you will not be disappointed. They had a run of success really, from 2004 to 2007, that was probably their most successful period, and uh, they achieved podiums with Shinji Nakano, Olivier Jacques and Randy de Pugnier. 2008 wasn't a great season. John Hopkins was their rider. The bike was so stiff. I've read his book, uh, Leathered. A fantastic read if you haven't already read it. It is a great description of what that final year was like for Kawasaki. They just didn't invest in the bike and it was so tough to ride. And that proved to be their final year officially in MotoGP. Now, as we know, Kawasaki have went on to great things in World Superbike. They have Jonathan Ray, who has won six world titles for them. They've won titles with uh, Tom Sykes as well. The brand is probably the leading brand in terms of production bikes um, over the recent years. You know, it's, it's been the benchmark as a superbike. Now we have Yamaha, BMW, Ducati, of course, have always been there. But why have Kawasaki not returned? Essentially for that reason, they don't see the value in having a MotoGP team as they sell more due to World Superbike and the mass production of a Superbike sales around the world. MotoGP, it's very difficult to sell bikes, of course, but you look at the teams that are big in MotoGP, Honda, a huge production of... You know, bikes on the road, Ducati the same, Kawasaki are a bit smaller of a company, so they tend to put all their focus on World Superbike. Um, when even asked about returning to MotoGP at the you know, opportunity of Suzuki pulling out, they said no, they see more value in World Superbike. So let's take a look hypothetically of what the bike would look like. Now there's a few designs I've seen on Google some great designers but here's one you'll see it looks pretty cool if if they did return and who would know what what would happen if Kawasaki returned they could you know need to have a real approach at building a bike similar to KTM and what we've seen from Aprilia's return you know that first few years it is difficult of course but you do get concessions so a limited testing and what riders do you put on that bike you obviously want an experienced rider, and you would have to say, would you give Jonathan Ray a chance? Absolutely, he would be the rider that, even though he is in his mid-30s, with that amount of experience and talent, Johnny Ray would be a fit-in for Kawasaki's return to MotoGP. So, who else would you stick on that? Who would be Jonathan Ray's teammate? Well, if you look at the 2023 market in MotoGP, hypothetically, there's a few riders that are available. You could put Miguel Oliveira, Takanakagami could be an option. But I'm looking down at Moto2 and I think that if Kawasaki had the chance to come back, they would want a 
young Japanese writer. And I think that the way Honda's situation is at the minute, and I think, yeah, it's obviously made up this, but I think that there is temptation that they could sign Ayagura. And a Jonathan Ray Ayagura lineup, you've got the experience of Jonathan Ray, and you've got the youth and the talent and the quick uh, adaptation trait that Ayagura has. That would be a pretty cool team to see, Ayagura and Jonathan Ray. Now the first few years would probably be a struggle, no doubt it always is for, for teams that are new to any class. But it would be so cool to see Kawasaki returning with a GP. And we need more brands, I think that Kawasaki have made their stance clear, they'll not come back unless, you know, essentially the money is there and they can be guaranteed some success. But it would just be so cool to see the green the green machine back on the grid in MotoGP. It is something that I'd love to see. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to see it. And let's hope it happens sooner rather than later. Let me know in the comments who you'd like to see next for this series. BMW Triumph. Let me know. And don't forget to like this video. And make sure to subscribe to Christ MotoGP for more content.